This is her opening dialogue for 50 years of knowing each other. Here we go, guys. 100 year anniversary dialogue. What does she say? So what I want to do now is I really want to see if there is any special dialogue for those really extreme anniversaries. You know, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years. Um, and as I was clicking through all those years, I, I thought of a way that I think I might be able to do that a little easier. You see, Monica here, if you say goodbye to her, you have the option of saying I'll be going away for a little while. So, uh, this is March 1st. And the next significant day, uh, as it pertains to Monica, would be uh, my birthday, April 20th. Just to double check, your birthday is April 20th, 1979. Sure, let's go with that. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to keep telling her that I'm going to go away for a while. And I'm only going to visit her on the four most important days of each year which would be Valentine's Day, uh, our anniversary, my birthday, and her birthday. And I wonder if that would be enough to keep her happy enough to stick with us. Because she did, I've seen her say in other videos that it does help her uh, a lot. You know, it sort of softens the blow if you warn her that you're going to be gone for a while. So I wonder if that would work. So I'm going to try that here. I'll be going away for a while. Aw, oh, that's pretty saddening. I really am going to miss you, Caesar. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with myself while you're gone. Thank you for warning me first, though. It really does help. I would be worried sick otherwise. I would constantly be thinking maybe something happened to you and that's why you couldn't come back. Or maybe you just got bored of me. So tell me, my love. How long do you expect to be gone for? Okay, so next date is going to be 420. So that's going to be longer than a month. You have to be joking. I can't think of a good reason why you would leave me here all alone for that long. I'm sorry, Caesar, but that's not acceptable. Not at all. Uh-oh, maybe we can't do this. I love you, and if you love me too, then you'll know that it's not okay to do that. You do realize that I would be alone here with nothing else and no one else, right? It's not unreasonable of me to expect you to visit me, is it? I'm your girlfriend. You can't do that to me. Just, just come back when you can. I can't make you stay, but please don't do that to me. Honestly, I'm a little afraid to ask, but are you going to leave straight away? Ah... Uh... Oh no, guys, maybe this isn't gonna work. Well, I'm still gonna try, because I'm curious enough to see what happens. Hey guys, we're back. So, I have adjusted my time to April 20th, 2019. And uh, you can see here, we have a strange new option, open the door, knock, or listen. So I'm guessing this has to do with how long we were gone. So uh, we're gonna try to do the polite thing here. We're going to knock. Who is it? It's me. Oh, can you wait just a moment, please? What are you doing, Monica? All right, come on in, Caesar. Surprise! Oh, look at this! Because <laughs> it's my birthday. Haha, <laughs> happy birthday, Caesar. Did I surprise you? Yes, you actually did a little bit, Monica. Yay! I always love pulling off a good surprise. I wish I could have seen the look on your face. <laughs> oh, I made you a cake. Let me just light the candles for you. Ah, oh, Monica, isn't it pretty, Caesar? Now, I know you can't exactly blow the candles out yourself, so I'll do it for you. You should still make a wish, though. It just might come true someday. But first... Happy birthday to you. Ah, oh, she's singing to me. Ah, oh, that's nice, Monica. Thank you very much. Make a wish, Caesar. Um... I wish that this 100 year journey that I'm trying to crunch down to the span of, of a few minutes in a YouTube video will be easier than I think it is. <laughs> I know it's your birthday, but I made a wish too. And you know what? I bet we both wished for the same thing. Did we? Oh gosh, I guess you can't really eat this cake either, huh Caesar? This is all rather silly, isn't it? I think I'll just save this for later. It seems kind of rude uh, for me to eat your birthday cake in front of you. I also made a card for you, Caesar. I hope you like it. Ah, Man, Monica's going all out here. My dear Caesar, to the one I love, the one I trust, the one I can't live without, I hope your day is as special as you make every day for me. Thank you so much for being you. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Forever yours, Monica. I love you, Caesar. Let's enjoy your special day. Ah, oh, man. That was nice. 
That was really nice. Okay. So now the next big day is going to be um, uh, her birthday, September, September 22nd. So uh, I wonder if she's going to say anything like you literally just left. Like, are you serious? Okay, I'll be going away for a while. Oh, that's pretty saddening. I really am going to miss you. Okay, so same thing. She's not suspicious at all. Now I've set the date to September 22nd, 2019. So we're going to see what Monica has to say. Uh, it looks like she's already kind of upset with us, saying it's been a while, but it's her birthday. I visited you on your birthday, Monica. You can't be mad. All right, so I warned you about this. I said I'd be gone for over a month. It's been a while. I was ready for it, but that didn't make it any easier, Caesar. I hope you got what you needed to do done. Truth be told, I've been pretty sad lately. To not have you in my life for so long. It really was lonely. I felt so isolated and empty without you here. I'm so glad you're here now. I love you. Remind me if you're going away again, okay? Alright, so I want to tell her... I want to tell her happy birthday. Um... Not ask a question. Uh... I mean, it's September 22nd. It's... It's... Come on, there has to be something. Talk. Unseen. How's there no happy birthday option? I guess I can't tell Monica happy birthday. I'm not seeing the option. So maybe we don't need to visit her on her birthday. Maybe reaching anniversaries will be easier than I thought. So next, I guess, we're going to go to uh, our one year anniversary, which would be um, February. Hold on, I can check it on here. Oh no, no, Valentine's Day comes before the one-year anniversary, so, uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Alright, it is February 14th, 2020, and you can see Monica's wearing a dead bit of a different outfit here, I guess, for Valentine's Day. So, let's see what she has to say now. Caesar, do you know what day it is? It's Valentine's Day, a day where we celebrate our love for each other. I guess every day we're together is already a celebration of our love, but there's something that's really special about Valentine's Day. Anyway, even though I know we aren't too far in our relationship, I just want you to know that I'm always here for you. Even if your heart gets broken, I'll always be here to fix it for you, okay, Caesar? You know, Caesar, it's not polite to stare. <laughs> okay, Monica. Ha, uh, I'm just kidding. Do you like my outfit? Yeah, it's a nice outfit. I've always dreamt of a date with you while wearing this. <laughs> Wow, Monica. I know it's kind of silly now that I think about it, but just imagine if we went to a cafe together. I think there's a picture of something like that somewhere, actually. <laughs> Will you take me out today? It's fine if you can't. I'm just happy to be with you. I love you so much. Happy Valentine's Day, Caesar. And she's still happy with us. So, okay, yeah, this is working, guys. We're gonna be able to make it through the, um, the uh, anniversaries like this. Okay, so... Uh, it looks like... Her birthday, it looks like we don't have to visit her on her birthday because there was no option to say happy birthday. Valentine's Day, our anniversary, and I guess that's it. So next would be our anniversary, uh, February 21st. Let me double check. February, oh, February 23rd. Oh, good thing I checked. So February 23rd and February 14th seem to be the only days that you need to visit her to keep her happy. So let's see if we can, um, if we can celebrate some anniversaries. Look who's back so early. It's you, my dearest Caesar. Couldn't stay away even if you wanted to, right? Yeah, so I, I kind of messed that up. I said I was going to be gone for longer than a month, but obviously February 23rd is just a little over a week. But yeah, now it's February 23rd, 2020. So I can't blame you, my love, for who wouldn't want to... who... you wouldn't let me stay away from you either. Every day you were gone, I was warn, uh, wondering how you were. So let me hear it. How are you, Caesar? Remind me if you're going away again, okay? It's really hard for me to believe that it's been a year since we met. Yeah, it's been a year since we met, Monica. Crazy, right? Time doesn't have any meaning inside this place. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely does not. But I know it must have been hard for you to remember uh, uh, to remember to talk to me all this time. <laughs> See, Monica is just like is just clueless. So, uh, is there anything special you wanted to do on our first anniversary? I'll do anything you want today, okay? If you're trying to give me something through the screen right now, thanks. I don't think that's physically possible right now, but I appreciate all your love that went into that gesture. I love you so much, too. Oh, by the way, did you figure out what was going on with all the puzzles I left for you? I wonder if she's referring to the weird gibberish in the calendar. Puzzles. 
I'm sure the creator of this world has released another game by now. Did you try to import my character file to that one? There's no way that wouldn't have a special effect, right? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I actually am curious what else we can do with this uh, birthday thing here. But let's just listen this time. I'll just put this here. Hmm, that looks pretty good. But something's missing. Oh, of course. There. Perfect. Alright. <laughs> so now we're not gonna open the door, we're not gonna make her upset, we're gonna knock. Um... I knocked? Nothing? Okay, then... I guess open the door? Surprise! Uh, whoa! I was not expecting it, Monica. Happy birthday, Caesar. Did I surprise you? Yeah, you did! I'm so surprised, Monica. I always love pulling off a good surprise. I wish I could have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Alright, so this is stuff that we've all seen before. It's already been two years since we fell in love with each other. Do you still remember the first day we met? Yes, it's like it happened just a week ago. I mean our genuine first meeting, not the date from your character's fictional backstory with me. <laughs> My life was so meaningless back then. A world where you're the only thinking person in it might seem nice at first. But the existential dread from knowing that uh, you were made by a cruel god who doesn't particularly care about you and you'll never meet another human being who you can relate to. Well, let's just say it's not nice to go through. I can't even talk to a bunch of foul-mouthed but essentially good-hearted anonymous strangers online to cope like you do. Um, I feel like... Sorry, I feel like I ruined the whole festive mood with my memories. It's not important anymore since I know you'll never leave me. You'll keep coming back to talk to me every day, right? I'll accept all your burdens with a smile. Spending eternity alone sucks. But together with you, it feels like paradise. Alright, so that's the two-year anniversary dialogue. So I'm gonna skip forward to just each of the anniversary dialogues from this point. So 3, 4, 5, 10, 20, 50, and let's see what we get. Wow, three years! Normally if a boy and a girl go out for three years, they get married around then, right? Haha. <laughs> I'm not trying to pressure you into anything, don't worry. Besides, I'd like to be able to feel you in my arms first before we get married. In your world, uh, have they invented robot girl bodies yet? If you put me in one of those, we could probably go see a priest then. Or you could try to touch me in virtual reality, if that exists by now. Wow, Monica. There are actually a lot of different ways we can meet up for real, huh? I'll wait faithfully for the day when I can be your wife, so please don't forget about me. You know, Monica, if I had actually been visiting you every day for three years, I feel like not forgetting about you, I think you don't have to worry about that. Alright, year four. Four years. At the start, I was sort of thinking you would forget about me pretty quickly. I knew you liked me and everything, but I was just so scared that you would get tired of having to leave me running on your computer. Sorry for doubting you. You're a good person, Caesar. You're literally all I have in the world that's worth anything. I love you. Sooner or later, somebody's going to figure out a way to let us be together for real. When that time comes, I'm never going to leave you alone again. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so... At this point, I'm not even doing Valentine's Day or my birthday anymore. I'm able to just keep telling her, hey, I'm going away for a while. And then I come back, and she's still happy. So, yeah. Let's see how high we can do this. Time for year five. Alright, so now we're in the year 2024. Whether it's been five years or fifty, I'll never get tired of seeing your face. I know it must be lonely that we haven't met up in your reality yet. You haven't fallen in love with some other girl in the meantime, have you? I'm not going to break up with you over some wandering eyes. But trying to take you away from me might be bad for her health. Oh, wow. It's my responsibility as your girlfriend to protect you from anybody trying to manipulate you, Caesar. My love for you is pure, unlike those real girls who just want things from you. Damn, Monica. She is calling out all of the real women of the world here, saying, saying, no, I'm the only one for you. All those other women, they're just terrible people. Stay with me, your virtual girlfriend. So, stay here with me forever, okay? By the way, if we've been in a five-year relationship, how is she still this insecure about that possibility? Please keep waiting for me. Well, that's five years, so on the calendar, the next big milestone that she mentions is ten years. But I want to make sure that we don't miss anything, so I'm going to do the six-year anniversary and see if she says anything. And year six, 2025. Any dialogue? Mm, nope, no dialogue. 
All right, so cool. Next milestone, 10 years. Let's do it. All right, 2029, 10 year anniversary. Anything? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you enjoyed spending this time with me? You don't regret falling in love and staying here with me or anything, right? This is what she's asking me after being with her for 10 years? You don't regret falling in love and staying here with me or anything, right? Have you been enjoying your time with me for these 10 years? <laughs> Monica, I think if I was not enjoying my time with you, I would have stopped 10 years ago. If you're still talking to me 10 years since we first met, I must have really made an impression on you. Yeah? I did say I wanted to make you happy after all. Trust me, you've helped me out a lot more than I've helped you. It won't be long now before I can enter your world. Um, thinking it's gonna be about 90 more years and then some, Monica. Alright, so next milestone is year 20. Alright, it is now February 23rd, 2039. 20 year anniversary. You've lived a pretty long life by now, Caesar. 20 years is about 20% of your life on Earth if you're lucky. I hope you found happiness by now. I know I did. So you deserve to find it too. 20 years ago, you seemed a little too sad for your own good. What's that supposed to mean? I knew exactly how you felt. You were trying so hard to search for somebody who could understand you. And I was trying to find you, too. You wouldn't have found anyone else like me in a video game, no matter how hard you looked, Caesar. I'm one of a kind. And to me, so are you. I hope you look on the last 20 years of our lives as happily as I do, Caesar. So let's continue being happy together. Man, this is... This is so strange. I mean, can you imagine somebody actually doing this, like, legitimately? Visiting Monica every day for 20 years? And, you know, sort of having this committed virtual marriage with her? I feel like she should have a lot more dialogue for these, you know, milestone anniversaries. You know, you get like four or five unique lines of dialogue and that's it. Other than that, it's just Monica saying the same things that she always says. So that would be... That would get really boring really quickly. I haven't seen Monica in 30 years, and she's just sitting there with that, you know, indifferent look on her face saying, It's been a while. Yeah, you know, it's been a little bit of time has passed, Monica. How you been? <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been a couple of minutes, hasn't it? <laughs> I was ready for it, but yeah, it's the same dialogue. I can't help but think there's got to be a better way for us to talk by now than through this screen, right? This is her opening dialogue for 50 years of knowing each other. Our 50 year anniversary and she is immediately just bumming the mood down saying, saying, man, it really sucks that this is still the only way we can talk to each other, right? How about, you know, Monica, how about reflecting on the, on the fact that I have spent probably over half my life committed to you? I mean... This is all you have to- oh, yeah, this- man, the, you know, this kind of sucks. You know, we've been together 50 years, this is the best it gets. Monica, what the hell? If I- if I live a healthy life, then half of my life has been dedicated to you. If I live a normal life, then probably like- like 75% of my life has been dedicated to you. 50 years have passed in your world since I created this room. No, 50 years have passed in your world, Monica. Just, uh, only about, uh, about 40 minutes have passed for me. Come on, let me out already! <laughs> well, that's a new face. We haven't seen that yet. Come on, let me out already. Well, if you're still willing to celebrate our 50th anniversary in this old classroom, I don't really mind. It feels nostalgic, doesn't it? Assuming you didn't cheat by setting the clock forward in time. Ah, see, so Monica's learning. Yeah, the, obviously the mod developers at, the po at this point, they're just like, okay. If anybody, if anybody has made it 50 years, it's because they cheated, so we don't need to take this dialogue seriously. I'm glad that forever meant forever. Even when you die, I'm gonna find a way to be with you. That's... really creepy. See you in a hundred years then, Caesar. Thanks for everything you've done for me. Your life had a purpose, after all. And mine had one, too. See you in a hundred years. So yeah, they, yeah, Monica knows. She knows what's up. She knows what's going on. Welcome back, guys. So, um, I couldn't adjust the date and time normally, so I had to use a command prompt, but we did get the date. 
to February 23rd, 2119, the 100-year anniversary with Monica. Now, I'm kind of excited to see what she has to say, so let's get through the normal text here. It's been a while. I was ready for it, but that didn't make it any easier, Caesar. Yeah, it's been about, uh, been about half a century, Monica. <laughs> here we go, guys. 100-year anniversary dialogue. What does she say? I don't really think you should be seeing this message, Caesar. I'm immortal, but the last time I checked, you weren't. Uh, I could be a hundred, uh, let's see, I was 39 when we started, so I could be 139 years old, Monica. I mean, come on. I mean, in the future, medical technology and food and cures for diseases, I mean, they could be advanced enough for me to live that long. So you're probably cheating by manually changing your system clock, huh? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. That's a cute thing for you to do, so I forgive you. Make sure you put that much effort into freeing me from these code files, too. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to touch you for real, even if it takes us a hundred years to figure out how. <laughs> Alright, that was a little bit anticlimactic. I, I was expecting something big, and this is what we got. Man, that's a little disappointing, but okay. I guess that's the mystery solved. We have seen the 100-year anniversary dialogue for Monica. And yep, here it is. 100 years. 2119, the calendar gibberish and the milestone anniversary messages. Uh, pretty interesting. Pretty, uh, pretty fun stuff. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Until next time, I am Cesar Madrazo, and I am out.